Potacular Customs and Call-In Show, Episode 72, for the week of July 17, 2006. All right, gentlemen, let's get freaky! Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Potacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast, and I'm Dialpax. E sono Lon Banana Phone, grazie molto. And I'm once again, Phantom Get! Alright. That was Italiano, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I got that from Babblefish, thank you very much. I only speak Spanish, and that's poorly. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is our Customs and Calling show, where we're going to be talking about our top three custom games, listening to uh, our top voicemail sent in by our members from the community. And also reading uh, lots of tales of the foxhole, stories that happen to our Halo players and community members. So we got a lot of stuff to be going through here. And as Fuma would say, we got a pack show. <laughs> so uh, let's get going here. We to got see a pack show for today, guys. We yeah. Got a pack show. <laughs> yeah. This like, is your quote-unquote short show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right, so before we start, we just got a couple of things to go through here. Why don't you uh, get a start, Lone? All right. Um, first of all, uh, as you'll point out, um, as you'll see or hear, um, Dialpex is not Fumo Jive. This is hey. actually Dialpex. Fumo is on vacation oh, Fumo. in, in uh, Taiwan. Thailand. Thailand, yeah. Taiwan. I got half of it right. He can use that soundboard to make himself sound like Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Except no substitutes, everybody. <laughs> no, no substitutes. He, I'm just uh, paying him a favor. He asked me to do it, and uh, you know, as I am a member of the community, doing everything you know in my hands that I can do, whatever, I'll you know gladly accept and take his place for one week, and uh, hopefully be able to do you know a good job while he was gone. So. Spectacular! Mm -hmm. Woo! Yay! So. And uh, second of all, many of you read last week on the website that JVB would also be hosting the show. I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, but that's second best. Nah, it's um, still JVB, good. JVB couldn't be here because uh, of a family emergency. And on a very serious note, um, JVB, um, our prayers are with you. Um, we'll be waiting for you when you get back. Um, so, uh, this is, this dies to you, JVB. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he gave me a call, uh, this morning, and then, uh, he said he wasn't going to be able to make it, but, you know, he had a couple of things to take care of, so, um, you know, like, like, like phone said, due to a family emergency, but everything would be okay, you know, and, This uh, episode is dedicated to JV Bizzle. JV Bizzle, my nizzle for shizzle, my dizzle. That's right. <laughs> Never do that again. Never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I almost threw up just now. We're going to be doing that through the entire show, so you better get used to it. <laughs> oh, man. All just because right. you said something. <laughs> right? <laughs> For <Okay>. shizzle dizzle. <laughs> oh, God. That's the oh, hizzle geez. podcast. I'm with, I'm with him now. <laughs> <laughs> He's... Uh, uh, Dial Pex has been going crazy ever since Brazil lost in the World <laughs> Cup. <laughs> just I going. know, dude. Um, well, you know what? They didn't deserve it, so. But hey, oh, well. Zidane, Zidane is my new hero. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know who he was before the World Cup, and now I want to be Zidane, <laughs> just because my friends and I were all headbutting each other. In <laughs> Rafflecopter. Yeah. All right. So uh, why don't you take the next one, Phantom Get? Okay. Uh, the season, the Podtacular season resumes this week. Season prizes. All right. For those that you know, we know. Um, for those that are participating in on the season, we are. The season, <clears throat> excuse me. The season resumed this week with uh, now instead of one match a week, it's two matches a week. Just so we uh, we were able to shorten by I think like three or four weeks if I'm not mistaken. So we have a shorter season with uh, more active weeks, you know. So we're gonna play a couple of games per week and hoping to make it a little faster, just so we can uh, get that done and uh, go into the you know the following ones. So, uh, but you wanna read what the prizes are, Phantom Get? Sure. For first place, uh, 
First place team gets to participate in a special Podtacular episode of Fumo Jive to discuss the team's best, most impressive, and hardest moments of that team in the season. All right. Uh, yeah. It's like one of those ESPN, like, uh, like you win the Super Bowl going over, it, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be a celebrity. <laughs> Chup, you get 15 minutes to explain how you did it. Right. <laughs> well, we sat down and uh, we played the games, and when it came down to it, we got more points than the other team. <laughs> and we shot them in the head more times. But you have to say that long enough so that it lasts 15 minutes. So trying to well. revolve around the topic or talk very slowly. Well, <laughs> we tried. <laughs> you'll, act you'll actually have to fast forward it to hear it in set real time. Yeah, <laughs> set the bit rate to like five. <laughs> yep. Yep. They also get a uh, special custom-made user bars by Fumo Jive with the team and player name as the champion of the Podtack of the season. Yeah, that's Woot. a cool one. Yeah. Wootness. Woot <laughs> Spot in the Podtacular Wall of Fame topic that will be created in the near future, probably by the time this episode comes out, but you never know. <laughs> we'll be creating Maybe. a... Yeah, we'll be creating a Wall of Fame topic on the, uh, probably on the general discussion topic or or maybe the pro topic. Uh, Somebody gets lazy and doesn't do it. Well, uh, no, I, I said I was going to do it, but I'm just waiting for the opportunity. And I think that there's no better time to do it once we have, you know, the winners of the season so we can, you know, show appreciation to those people that, you know, stuck around and uh, participated of everything and really, you know, tried their hard to get the matches going and, you know, follow the rules and so on and so forth. Is it, now is that is that wall of fame topic going to be just for people who won the season? No, no. Like I guess we're gonna have like that's gonna be accomplishments. Yeah, I think we're gonna have like different accomplishments. Sticky I think that the something. people that win awards on the Potecula Awards should also be on that wall of fame. So we're gonna expand, cool. you know, a little bit more. Not just the season or tournaments and stuff like that, but you know, we're gonna keep it restricted though, so we won't have like everybody on the wall of fame. But we wanna, you know be able to include people that, you know, don't play on the tournaments, you know, and things like that, so. Mm, it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, also, a special forum tag, like the one below my gamer tag that, or the one below my avatar that says guest host. Yeah. Yeah, they'll all get a season champions tag. Of course, mine will no longer say that after this episode, so, wham. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, I think uh, Cat and Crunk will be taking care of that one. I think we had mentioned before, and uh, I think um, he's going to be taking care of that one. Something like with a little trophy and like a little cool user bar for the season champions. That should yeah, be, you know, that's a little. That's Captain Crunk's a man. Yes, he just does so much. Shout out to Captain Crunk, man, for the rocking job that he's just been doing, you know, with and the, the Pot website. Yeah, amazing. Without Pizza him, bars. a lot of this stuff would not be, you know, possible. No. We'd still yeah. have Blogger. Yeah, right? Everybody <laughs> would be on Blogspot here. <laughs> no. Uh. Imagine a world without Podtacular.com. Oh. Some people I'd would have very dead. bleak and meaningless lives. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now that now that the website is there, we have even more bleak and meaningless lives. Right. <laughs> because we're there all the time. <laughs> I will not flame anyone. That is my solemn vow. <laughs> I, li I live on that website more than I live in my own house. <laughs> hey, I don't do that at all. I do not do that at <laughs> all. <laughs> oh, how many forum posts do you have again? How many uh, three, three, three. <laughs> three, 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 like 333? No, I think I just have three. I had, I had four, but uh, one of them was a span, so one of the mods <laughs> deleted it. Rob. So I, I only have three now. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the final thing for the first place guys is uh, prizes like shirts, cigs, anything you want from the uh, Potacular store that or that other members feel the team would deserve for such an accomplishment. And Depends it truly is. If if yeah, but if you're beating the crap out of everyone else on Potacular who's actually competitive, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> well, if if Painkiller wins. I'm saying oh. they shouldn't get anything. Oh, pain if pain kills, <laughs> everyone knows it's just mods. <laughs> everyone will complain about modding, and painkill will just like mod their brains. Yeah, well, just on that, on the, a note on that one, I want to, you know, make it clear that 
it says any and other prizes. So it's any and other prizes, you know, including shirts, signatures, anything from the particular store, etc., that other members feel that this team would deserve for such accomplishment. Feel free to award the winning team. So it's, you know, we're not saying that we're going to give you guys a shirt or anything like that. So don't win the season and be like, hey, you said I was going to win a shirt. Because you're <laughs> yeah. not, you know. I'm just, just saying, if, if somebody. Want. Yeah, because yeah. I've heard, you know, like I, I've heard some rumors from some people. I'm not going to, you know, say any names, but they said that they were going to, you know, if cer such and such team won or whoever, they would, you know, make them a shirt or make them a signature or whatever. So it's up to, you know, people to you know feel free to reward the, the winning team in any way they want so of course no promises right not not but, from us, but all the other ones all the other um topics presented above you know by phantom get you know the the signatures the wall of fame blah blah, blah they those will be you know indeed given to the champion of the season so yep 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 uh so and i'll, I'll get to second place for second place the um, uh, they will receive a special, special custom-made user bar made by Fumo Jive with a team and player name as the second place of the particular season, and their name will also be on the Wall of Fame. So this, as the runners-up, so yeah, good job yes. to whoever comes in second. Yes, so those would be the <clears throat> prizes for the next uh, for second place. And third and then, place just gets user bars. Yes, third place will get, you know, user bars by Fumo Jive with uh, third place of the particular season. Still an accomplishment. S sweet deal, yeah. Far. Yes, uh, and I'll tell you that, dude, it, it's it been tough. Like, I, we played a match last night against uh, Chicano Click, and uh, they were one of the four teams that were still undefeated. And uh, dude, those guys gave us a run for our money. It was it was tough. I'll tell you that right now. We thought it wasn't gonna be that bad, but we were like, it was nerve wracking. Every match of it was just like crazy. You know, we're I've trying been to. I've gone for two weeks. I'm so out of touch. It it was it was pretty hard. So you know, it, it, don't think that a third place is nothing because I'll tell you that it's a hell of a co accomplishment right there, dude. Yeah. So. All right, we'll go into the uh, part of the show where we read the top three custom games by our some of our members, and uh, you know you can check all the other custom games that we have. We have plenty of custom games on the show notes, so we get, we're just gonna read the top three ones, and then after that you can just go ahead and uh, download the show notes and check out you know plenty of custom games and so many different variations of cool games there's just way too many you know for us to be discussing here but we'll yeah. talk about the best three ones and um i don't even here. think bungie had any idea how many custom games are actually going to spring yeah. up when they made it yeah it <clears throat> we just have so many dude and every show every uh customs and Collins show we just get like so many different ones you know we do get you know a couple of similar ones but every yeah. time i read it, it's just like wow i can't even believe how people haven't you know they have the you know the the time and you know to make all these custom yeah. games and everything it's just crazy so it's it's amazing that like after what 72 episodes yeah they're still they can incredibly still come up with stuff, I know. Yeah. yeah it's crazy so yeah all right, so uh, uh, this first one makes me think of the capture card that I didn't buy. I bought Chrome Hounds instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Why don't you why don't just take it and uh, read it for us? Sure. Uh, this one's from Chaotic Reaper thirteen, and he says, "Name of the game is Old Eagle Eye or Banshee Dodgeball." Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the game is played on Ascension, misspelled, and works best. Or is it? Ascension. Isn't Asc that the capital of Paraguay? <laughs> it's Ascension. It's, it's Ascension. <laughs> Spell check. Well, then. <laughs> capital of Paraguay. <laughs> if you're playing in Paraguay, this works somebody, best. Somebody it works best if you're in Paraguay. <laughs> This game works best if you're playing Paraguay, so make sure you go to Paraguay to play this game. <laughs> they made this while they were in ninth grade geography. <laughs> uh, works best with six to eight people out of a free-for-all slayer. Everybody spawns with plasma pistols and no other weapons. Ouch. Hmm. Well. <laughs> oh, plasma no, pistols. It, no other weapons, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's that's kind of painful. I and guess it's it. just like to avoid people like shooting at each other and yeah. just like not paying attention or whatever. Yeah. And uh no grenades either. 
of course, because you can stick the Banshee that you're dodging and kill it. And uh, players also have only one life and no motion sensor. Whoever gets the Banshee first is the Eagle. You will then wait till all the players reach the Banshee spawn platform. Then the Eagle tries to splatter them. Uh, the players are allowed to hijack the Banshee. Splattering people is actually much more difficult than it would seem on a Banshee. Of course it is, but, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, a time limit of four minutes is good for this game. And remember, no shooting or killing other players when not in a Banshee. Also, the Banshee can't shoot if it's destroyed. If it's destroyed, players have a melee... Oh, if it's destroyed, players have a melee fight to determine the winner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, no, it it was just... uh, He just had a run on sentence right there. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna say... Also, Banshee can shoot, and if it's destroyed, but you have a melee fight to determine the winner. He's just very excited. He's very excited right. to get his, his idea out there. That his thing got, bought, got on Potacular. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always excited. <laughs> I remember yeah. long, long ago when I I started listening in episode 6. But I didn't really get like involved until like episode 30. But I, I wrote in a comment. I wrote, I wrote a comment in for like episode 31. And it got read. And like... I was I sat by my computer and like waiting for the episode like refreshing the podcast page be like four minutes. <laughs> I'm like, come, come on, on, come on, read come my. On. And then and then I still remember how Fumo pronounced my name that day. He said, "Lone banana phone," and he pronounced the phone. I was like, "No, it's look." And I got really angry. But then he was reading, and it was like it was like a dream. <laughs> and then G Lewis was on. He he yeah, was on Lewis one of the episodes. And then, okay, G. Lewis, okay, he started out agreeing with my point. He was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty valid, unless, blah, 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 and unless, and he's like, so yeah, that's basically pretty much a sucky champ. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the? But I didn't care, because I was on the podcast. I started listening at episode 17, then I went back and downloaded them all and listened to them all. It took me like three <laughs> weeks, man. Oh. <sighs> I, I just had forever. so many on my iPod. I, I don't even know how many I had. It's I had to take them off because I just had too many. I I only have like a four gig nano, and it was just like totally full with Podtacular. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. You need to buy like a, a separate iPod just for Podtacular. <laughs> I know. I was gonna do that. <laughs> it's like okay, this is my podcast iPod. This is my other one, and then my sister stole my podcast one. So. <laughs> Nuts to her. Or you can do. A, I I've seen on the internet once. I used to have a nano. Right now, I I just had like so many problems with the nano. I ended up replacing it for a video. But but anyways, oh. I had a, a nano. And then I went online one day and I saw this this like just just random website saying, oh, I discovered how to you know transfer your two gig nano into a two hundred gig nano. And I was like, what? So I you know I clicked on a website and I took a look at it and this guy was like here are the instructions on how to make your 2 gig nano into a 200 gig nano and I thought like it was something to do with like flashing the memory or something because the, the nanos don't have a hard drive like you know the other yeah, ones it's like a memory stick inside Yeah. But uh, so I thought you know you could do like some trick to it or whatever but this guy pulls out a 200 gig hard drive, right? Like, now I'm talking about a computer hard drive, a oh. brick. And he does, like, all this wiring, you know, like, to it. And he adds, like, the, you know, like, he opens the iPod and he does, like, the hard drive. And he, he successfully links the iPod to his 200 gig hard drive. Oh and, dude, God. that thing is, like, a Bible. It was huge. It was so big. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I was like, how can you go to the gym with that? It just totally defeat the purpose of a nano, you know what I mean? I was like, that <laughs> no, thing is like, huge. And, uh, might as well buy a computer. And carry exactly. It I was, but then he was like, he's like, I know it doesn't look the best, and I'm telling you this right now, it looked so bad. He like he had like he had duct tape all around. It was really <laughs> bad. <laughs> and uh, and he just like he's like, I know it doesn't look the best, but it has 200 gigs now, and I can fit all my music. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but you can only use in your bedroom now. <laughs> 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 Why don't you just bring a, a bring a, a car around with you <laughs> and just store all your songs in the car? Yeah, walking into class. Where's your textbook, Jimmy? Oh well, it was a choice between my textbook or my iPod, and I just listened to my iPod through your class anyway. So why don't you just bring all the CDs with you 
<laughs> Just get all the boxes of CDs. <laughs> yeah, on man. the CD player. Bring a shopping cart with you. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh, plug, just plug it into your car. Have a little <laughs> iPod jack. Store the entire. Just put a computer in your dashboard. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Uh, all right, uh, you want to take the next one, Lone? Yeah. From Reaping Raven. Yes. Good okay. Old Reaping Raven. Reaping Raven. You know, he called me like six times on Skype one day. <laughs> it was very. He, he's I was Mr. trying to nap I, too. <laughs> I was like, Mr. I was like, I swear to drunk, I'm not God. Uh huh. I thought that was funny the first time I read it, but yeah, that was yeah, like six was, years ago. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was trying to nap, and he called me, and I was like, ah, it's just Reaping Raven, and I went back to bed. And he just <laughs> kept Raven. calling, and I was like, I didn't want to, like, tell him to stop, because then, he, then he'd know I was there, but, like, I wanted to, like, <laughs> sign off, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> but I guess I just totally, welcome, okay, whatever. Welcome to our life. <laughs> <laughs> Will, lone banana phone trying to please everyone in Potacular. Okay. You can please some of the people some of the time, but if you try to please all the people all the time, you'll end up wanting to bite their heads off. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I can, I can please most people, but. Just, oh yeah, course, that didn't sound too good. But anyways, gross. I, <laughs> no matter no matter what part of the double entendre that you said, I, it works either way. <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> The funniest part about that, the funniest part about that was I was about to say, especially Rosomi. <laughs> oh, Russ. Cha-ching. Uh, oh. oh, God, we're going to get hate mail for this episode. Oh, Why do we man. always get hate mail for the episodes I'm on? Every single time. But yet again, Gee, I'm I always wonder. getting invited Gee, back. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, is it me? Just read is the it custom. Me? <laughs> okay. No. Reaping. Ra Where were we? Reaping Raven. Okay. How do we get? How do we get? To <laughs> I know. <laughs> I opened my pie hole. <laughs> okay. Right. Reaping Raven says, "This custom game is called Say What? Or Say What? If you didn't mind my voice crap just then. <laughs> <laughs> and it works much like Smack to Hoe and Zombies. Smack to Hoe, one of my personal favorites." <laughs> Which is the episode that JBB and I hosted. Smack, That's G. Lewis's personal favorite, with... too. He does that yeah. in real life. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Smack> the <to> hoe. <laughs> oh. ah. So, Smack the Hoe Zombies. And it's a rumble game type, and everybody except for one person has voice masking on. <laughs> Sounds wow. fun. It doesn't matter who it is. You just have to make sure it's one person. The person with the voice... With the... <laughs> Wait... Yeah, it's right. And everybody ex oh, okay, everyone except for one person has a voice mask on. The person with the voice mask on has to try to kill people with without the voice mask. Once you're killed, you must turn your voice masking off and begin to kill those with it. Uh, people with voice masking may not kill fellow voice maskets, and only people without voice masking non maskets, and vice versa. Wait Players a minute, are wait allowed... a minute. How can you tell? You you just make a steady sound. <laughs> like as, as you go through the map, you go around. It's just like strap it to your speakers. <laughs> strap your headset to your speakers and play the Halo 2 soundtrack all the time. Or just get, or, or just get Jordan Jr. in your party. That kid does not stop talking. He, he <laughs> sings. He sings. Yeah, I uh, wonder why we get hate mail. <laughs> he sings uh, my song and Daniel's song all the time. He's like, he's just going through, the, you know, the match, take, having like. You know, 17, 18 kills. Don't always have to snipe. He's like, sing the songs. <laughs> we love you, Jordan. I know, we do. All right, okay. <clears throat> um, uh, players are allowed to ask uh, other players to speak only when they are within non-white button speaking range. Player may kill the other player if he refuses, refuses to respond. Obviously, although I didn't mention this non-voice maskets may fight back, it's like zombies. The weapons can be whatever... Preferably not rockets, though. And Obviously. the time should be five minutes. It's best played with a lot of people. When everyone has voice masking on, masking off, the party leader ends the game. This can be a lot of fun if played with a lot of people. Um, okay. 
So, and then he says, finally, I would like to wish all oh, blah, 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 blah. He, he, he just tried to sneak something in. Um, here's what he really said. Finally, I would like to wish all those non-vacation a good vacation. I'll wish all of those on vacation a good vacation, a.k.a. me and Dial, who have already come back. Yes, um, and me. Week. <laughs> also, I came also, back. Also, shout out to... A lot of people, JVB, uh, a lot of people went on vacation. It wasn't just me. It was like quite a few people. I think Pankilla was on vacation. It's Rafflecopter time. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people were out, so... Um, and yeah. then he goes on to say, go pro A. <laughs> B. <laughs> <laughs> How can you misread a letter? Uh, I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am. I have this uh, chronic disorder where I subtract to put on your one glasses. from every letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're hurting my brain. Well, he said GoPro B, but we'll let yeah. one banana phones think that he said GoPro A. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This game type hurt my brain. <laughs> Somebody right. would have to explain it to me. Basically, it's like zombies. It's, it, if it sounded <laughs> a little confusing, it's on the show notes. You guys can just download it and take a quick look at it and uh, yeah. write down, you know, like go through the game as you. I'm uh, going to <laughs> look at all the options. So, all right, on to uh, Hollywood ninety one. He says, "Hey, Potacular, this is Kramer six eighty three. I guess that's his gamer tag. And I've got a cool custom game. This can be played on any big map. Uh, for example, like coagulation, coagulation, waterworks, containment." Uh, it's a Team Slayer game type, and it's called Chess, and its name speaks for itself. Everyone has to listen and follow to the instructions. I already Good don't luck. like where this is going. Pot <laughs> okay, two yeah. examples. First of all, every time Fumo comes online, we always try to play something cool, but it never works. Right, people don't listen because there's and like they don't 20, follow the instructions. And, and then, there's and like 20,000 13-year-olds with uh, Star, what's it called? A thing where you get nervous talking to famous people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, right. Uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, Starstruck. Okay, Starstruckedness. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Alright, anyways, everyone only has one life and shields. First, in pregame lobby, you gotta pick who will be the pawns, kings, queen, castle, horse, bishops for each team. Pawns can only have a single SMG and storm the enemy base. The king gets a shotgun and has to stay inside of its own base. The queen gets a sniper rifle and does whatever, prote whatever to protect the king or kill the <clears throat> the enemy king. The castle gets rockets and defends the king. The horse are I two think people he means that rook get and knight. Right, the knight. That's what he means. And uh, castle is rook. Yep. And uh, two people get the the knight is two people that will get in a warhog and storm the enemy base. The bishops get a BR and do whatever, protecting the king or killing the enemy king. <clears throat> Each team should have one king, one queen, two horse, uh, in the same warhog, two bishops, one castle, one pawn. Eight people for each team. Keep up the good work, Potacular. G uh, Gamer Tag Kramer 683. Uh, it, it sounds like a cool game and everything, yeah. but it, it, like, like Lone people. said, you gotta have you gotta have people that follow instructions. Otherwise, you cannot yeah. play a game like that. Because somebody that you know is a uh, uh, let's say like the bishop or or the the pawn, you know, you can't set one person like a certain weapon. So once the game starts, that person has to go and get that weapon. And Here's who, a really and who good example. are you example. to say that that person's not going to go over there and grab the sword instead of SMG or whatever? Yeah. You know what I mean? So Here's a good example of two people who would do that. Maybe I'm not going to say their names. But I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. It's uh, Salmonator and Sniper Evo 86. <laughs> sniper will beat down the queen, take the sniper, kill everyone on his team and the other team until he's booted. And... Salmonator will probably go get the sword and just kill everyone in sight. <laughs> After switching teams. Yeah. And then and then Brent Gamer will not admit that he failed to load the map. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, here in Jamaica, Ma, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> you see, that's another thing you should never do again. <laughs> <Jamaica. laughs> no, that was a funny call in. I thought it was, at least. In, uh, <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, Brent Gamer, Mr. Red Bull is the steroid of Halo 2. Halo 2. <laughs> that is uh, so funny. 
All right, guys. Uh, this is uh, the part of the show where we're going to listen to all of our um, voicemails from our particular members. So um, if you want to send in a voicemail, you can just call us at... What's the phone number again? 206-888-HALO. <laughs> How can you not remember this? You're I know. Host. And I call it all the time, too. But anyway, yeah, you I can give us a call heart. at 206-888-HALO and uh, give us our voice... Give us... Um, your voicemail, you can uh, give us a tale of the foxhole, Halo jokes, or custom games, or whatever. Just uh, try to keep it under three minutes, and uh, don't tell us your whole life story. Or, and no know, obscenity. Exactly. Or racism. Exactly. So, um, let's or go and check horrible. it out. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. or if or you're horrible. Or if you're horrible with uh, spelling, 206-888-4256. Exactly. H-A-L-O. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's go see uh, what we got. <laughs> All right, we're on. Woo! Hey, Patakura, this is Spartan 1147 calling to say that, um, calling to say that the reason I call so much is because my typing sucks and I cannot write stuff to you or else it would look like, like it needed a spell check and I would not want that to happen. However, I also call to say that other games I play besides Halo and Halo 2 are Half-Life 2 and Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. You've probably heard of both of them, but they're really quite good. Check them out. Bye. Hey, uh, this is X, Hyphy Movement X. Uh, yeah, I'm here to send in a tip for a mock out. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but, uh, it's, uh, Right by the sniper tower, there's a little edge where you can stand on. Where if you crawl and you and you walk in there, walk your side. Uh, most people walking up that little uh, ramp with the three plasma grenades won't see you, and that's a pretty good spot to be in in uh, hide and seek, you know, custom game. And uh, yeah, my friend Wacky left the con is about to change the game tag to uh. In the Rep bay. in the bay with two wives. Bay. So, uh, yeah, hit us up sometime. Yeah, what I mean? Potacular rules. Yay! Oh, what's up, Potacular? This is Gemini Ace of, uh, the Internet. And, uh, I saw the call. I was listening to the episode 70 today and enjoyed it quite a bit. So, Sam Nader is a little gay boy. And um, we saw Colin talking uh, talk about some of the Halo 3 stuff y'all were talking about. Um, it's pretty exciting um, to think about what's going to happen. I like the idea of all the Spartans coming along. I think, here's what I think. I think there should be like a big battle where you're pretty much solo Master Chief on Earth and uh, you pretty much have to hold off like, you know, waves and waves and waves of Covenant coming at you and then and then when you when you think that there's no hope when you're you know your shields are down and you're just you know about ready to die there's a there's a uh, elite standing over you with his rifle about to bust your head in um, you should get something you know like a signal through your comm and then of course uh, all the other Spartans that wherever they are and they're like it looks like you could use some help and then of course they swoop in and save the day and then you can command them for a couple of missions. Uh, of course, they heal you or do whatever they got to do to you. They patch you up, and uh, but yeah, it'd be pretty sweet. You're on the you know on the brink of death, and then save your ass, and uh, you know in grand style, grand fashion, if you will. Maybe even with Cortana in tow. You never know. But anyway, that was what I was thinking about. Would be very cool, very cool uh, thing to happen in Halo Three. Uh, I also hope that. They, I also like all the ideas about the, the like automatic sticky grenade gun and stuff. It's all, all good stuff. Yeah. So anyway, not the ramble or anything. I'm just stuck in traffic and really have nothing else to do. So I guess keep up the good work and peace out. Hey guys, I have a. You know, you play too much Halo too, and um. You know you play too much Halo 2 when the only way you can communicate with family and friends is if they have Xbox Live. All right, see you guys. 
Hey, this is Todd Akami. Uh, I would just like to get involved more with the contact of the community, so if someone can send me a friend request. My giver tag is capital K-A-J-I, capital K-A-M-I. So I have a Tales from the Foxhole from Halo PC. No shields, shotguns on Battle Creek. Now, I was in the back of Red Base, where the teleport is. I was on the blue team. All these reds are coming from the side and through the teleport in the back of Blue Base. So all these reds are flooding in here, and I just went absolutely crazy. So then, I just didn't know what to do. So I just kept just throwing nades, going crazy, just shooting everybody I saw. Then I ended up killing nine guys. And it said kill tactic five times after the first one. In other words, a double kill with draw in Halo 2. But anyways, nine people. And I would just like to say, join the Halo PC clan. Halo PC is definitely a lot of fun with all these exclusive features like new maps, Ice field, especially. Great capture the flag there. Also, new weapons, the flamethrower, the fuel rod gun. You'll actually get to use the fuel rod gun in multiplayer for one. Unlike in Halo 2 on Xbox Live. And also, I would give a shout to Nightbox 10. He's great. He's awesome. He's starting the Halo PC clan. And I would recommend that you all join. Thanks. And this is Kaji Kami signing off. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Kimo23. Hope the call-ins are going well for you. And uh, I have a tip. Um, a lot of people think that you can't snipe people out of the Scorpion in Halo 2, unlike Halo 1. Uh, well, you can. Uh, what you have to do is get level with the Scorpion, and you can see the tip of the player's helmet sticking out. Uh, the hard part is getting level without him shooting you. <laughs> and uh, I also have a tail from the Foxhole. Uh, well, Fumo, me, Jay Burton, and a bunch of other people were playing Jaws. Uh, now, if you don't know, Jaws is a custom game where everyone goes on the red team except two guys. The whole red team gets on the tank and goes to the other base without shooting. It's a capture the flag game. So the point is the, the point of the the, blah, the point of the game is not to get splattered by the two blue guys on the ghost. This time, me and Jay Burton, while you're riding on top of the scorpion. So anyway, the red team makes it about halfway across the map. So I ran the scorpion from the sun and my ghost fly up and slaughter two people. I turn around and the scorpion is gone. Everyone was standing on the ground wondering what happened. So I boosted and got like two Kilimanjaros before Fumo ended the game. So what happened was the scorpion disappeared under them and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in a long time. Anyway, keep up the good work. Yada yada. See you online, guys. Peace. Hey, what's up, uh, Potacular? This is uh, Forsaken Worm. Uh, I just want to give you a little tip here uh, on Zanzibar. If you, uh, when you start uh, on the uh, side of the beach, uh, if you put a guy, there's a little rock right there, it's kind of smooth. If you put a man in front of that, someone gets in the Warthog or the Ghost, takes their uh, uh, handicap to severe, uh, it'll shoot the person across the map and it won't, it won't damage them. And uh, uh, great job with the show, guys. Uh, Potacular is really hilarious. And uh, you need to uh, get some better tips in there. There's, some of these guys don't give very good tips. Anyway, uh, noobs forever. Pawn, pawn, uh, pawn people. Pawn, pawn the pawn people. Um, noobs. Bye. Hey, hey Potagular, it's Mega Man. Um, I was just calling because I'm, as of this moment, I'm at King's Dominion, and I'm get, waiting in line to get on... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. It's a roller coaster. So, yeah. But uh, if I've got to leave something Halo-related, um, don't jump when you're about to get sniped or when you know someone's sniping at you because you fall slower than you can run. It's better just to, like, try to crouch and then just try to throw them off. Okay. See ya. Hey, guys. This is Kyle's Rule, and I was just listening to episode 69. And I heard someone mention the million dollar contract that Team Final Boss signed with MLG, so I figured I'd give you the scoop on it. It is a three year contract for a million dollars, and it's $250,000 each player, uh, Ogre 1, Ogre 2, which is twin brothers, Walshy and Sand. They've been together since Halo 1. And the contract was to continue playing in Major League Gaming, to not go to any other like gaming league tournaments. Uh, and to help promote MLG and wear all the logos and crap. And another player who got a $250,000 uh, contract is T-Squared. Uh, he may not be the number one Halo player, but he's on a top three team. He has basically 
devoted his entire life to uh, Major League Gaming. He quit high school to pursue it, to promote it. He was on MTV's, um, I don't know, some TV show, True Life or something like that, I don't know. Um, along with Xena, another Halo Pro. But it's just incredible that they're getting paid to promote gaming, which is just incredible. It's sit on your butt, play video games, have fun, make money. It's amazing. Anyways, uh, hit me up for customs. Bye. Hey, Pazak here. This is Spartan1147. Calling from my newly acquired Razer phone with two things. A, you know you've been playing too much Halo, and a tip. First of all, the you've been playing too much Halo. You know you've been playing too much Halo when you have Pazakura on speed dial on your cell phone. I have experience with this. And um, the tip is that if you're in a, if you're in a uh, ranked matchmaking game, or unranked for that matter, don't give up if you're in a game with D-rankers. Because I have been able to convince them that, you know, we, we don't support that and you should actually try and play. And they have given in and gotten a good amount of kills and, you know, came back and won the game. Or at least come close. So don't always give up and say the day rankers suck. And, you know, I mean, they do suck, but, you know, just like, oh, crap, he's a day ranker and then leave. Give it a try. Try and convince him. And, um, you know, you know you've been playing too much Halo when you have Podtack, you're on speed dial. So, yeah, those are my two things to say. I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Podtacula, this is Rick Pablo. I'm calling from the uh, world's largest aquarium in Atlanta right now. And so I thought I'd call you guys since I had nothing else to do. Um, and I thought, uh, I thought we could, I thought I could, you know, mention something from Halo 3 that I'd like to see. Uh, it would be like the brute shot, you know, since it's already shooting grenades and it shoots them pretty far. Uh, you could probably, like, you know, switch it over, like, uh, like, switch it over to, like, being able to shoot your regular grenades, like plasma or frag grenades. And, you, you know, people have been, uh, wanting, uh, grenades, grenade launchers like that. So I thought that might, might as well, you know, cover one or something. Uh, okay, uh, good work. Keep it a good work. Bye. Hey, Project this is Ruth Fabla. Uh, you know, in Halo 3, I'd like to see, um, more varieties of weapons, you know, because right now they just have, like, you know, for example, the Magnum. Uh, I would like to see, you know, an expansion on that, you know, just in that category. I, they could do it in more, but just uh, specifically, like the Magnum, like, you know, there's not just handheld guns, it's just, you know, not just the Magnum, there's revolver, revolvers and Berettas and stuff like that, so, you know, like, just expanding just, just different weapon categories could add a whole new, you know, twist on the game, you know, make a more pistols uh, stronger than other ones, maybe have some scope uh, to get, like, because some people want that Halo 1 feel again, uh, some with stronger and some with longer reload times than others, some non-dual wieldable, you know, so, you know, that's something cool that I'd like to see. Okay, so keep it a good work. Bye. Hey guys, this is Brent Gamer with Reaping Raven. Hey. Uh, Reaping Raven is going to sing you a very special <laughs> song today. Here is Reaping Raven. Okay, here we go. Every time we touch, I get the feeling. Every time I kiss, I think I can fly. Alright, that's good, that's good. That's my song. Okay, now guys, for an extra very special edition. I'm going to do my <laughs> potacular famous rendition of David Hasselhoff's Ooh. I Can't Stop This Feel. Let's hear it. Ooh. 
Ooga. You you gotta do the Ooga Chakas breathing. All I gotta do is go Ooga 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 Chaka. Ooga 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 Chaka. Ooga 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 Chaka. You can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. When you hold me in your arms so tight, you let me know everything's all right. I'm Hooked on a feeling, and I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. Wow, wootness. <laughs> All right, guys, this were uh, our, you know, call-ins with our Tales of the Foxhole and everything. Call the voicemails from our um, Halo 2 members of the community. And if you want to give us a call, again, the phone number is 206-888-HALO. And, um, again, try to keep it under three minutes and um, get it going. So we're going to jump into the part of the show now where we talk about the Tales from the Foxhole. So Tales that's where from we're going to you know, listen to some of the stories and funny things that happened to our members during the Halo 2 gameplay that you know they have. So why don't you get us uh, started off, Phantom Gat? Okay. Carts, C-A-R-T-S, says... Isn't he Canadian? I don't know. Do you really want to start off with a Canadian? Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's not start off with racism. I know, right? <laughs> Is a Canadian a race... When was the last time someone had the race Canadian? Salmonator. <laughs> like, on your driver's test, it's, on your driver's license, it says race, Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> Who is not allowed to drive roads in America? Canadians. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, yeah, Salmonator anyway. is going to kill you guys. <laughs> oh, Salmon. So many people want me dead, but Salmonator's going to eat my soul. He's going to succeed. He's going to say, oh, no. <laughs> or say, you sound or, or, just like him when you say that. <laughs> oh man, he is one funny guy right there. <clears throat> He's going to kill us all, but he will. Well, yeah. he he'll he'll probably uh, <laughs> cheer for uh, a Podtacular Pro team. Just both of them. He'll be like, "Hey, go Podtacular Pro A." Eh? I'll be like, "Go Pro A." <laughs> he'll be like, "You oh, speak my gosh. language, eh?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was almost painful. <laughs> I know. Do not. <laughs> Do not yeah. ever do that again. Dial. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Dial, you're one to talk. Oh. All right, go uh, ahead. <clears throat> once up, yes, once upon a time, there was a little game of Slayer on Waterworks, and he was driving on a warthog without any other friends. Then suddenly, bam, an opponent jumped in his turret, and then bam, an opponent in his passenger si side. I did not know, he did not know what was going on, so he drove the warthog off a cliff. <laughs> That's what I call two for one. That's also <laughs> a spell check. That's triple awesome, kill. dude. You can do that. <clears throat> That's a triple I, I, kill. I've done that one time on, on Relic. I was, uh, they, they, their sniper sniped our, you know, uh, the turret guy off my warthog, and then uh, the guy that was carrying the bomb also died. But I was able to manage to get the Warhog off the, the relic before they destroyed it. And then, but rushed um, the base. Right. And then two of their guys got on my Warhog, you know, on the way there. Because, you know, all those, like, the, those blue things, they, like, keep you from going fast. So you're, like, hitting everything on the way up there. <laughs> so they oh. were able to jump into the Warhog. And then on my way down, I just, I noticed that they were there. I just drove, like, right off the cliff. <laughs> they were like, what the hell? Jump off! Jump off! <laughs> I was like driving straight to the cliff, and they like felt like through the beach. And they were like, "Oh, great!" I was like, they were, everybody was laughing. I was like, that's awesome, dude. That is. It's like in that movie, uh, awesome. A Bug's Life, where like the leaf lands in front of me. He's like, "Oh my God, what do I do?" <laughs> he's like, go around the leaf. Go uh, that's my favorite part. Are you I am twelve with voice masking. Uh, do I sound like a, a pedophile old man? Because that's what voice do you, masking Do you want me to like. answer that truthfully? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. All right, who's next? Uh, I'll do it. Andy Man. Andy Man says... 
Andy Man oh. Man. While playing big team battle the other night, the team I was on jumped to a big lead. Content that we were going to win, I climbed in a warthog and began to try to run, off, run over people. After a little bit, players from the opposite team climbed into the gunner and the passenger seat. After a moment, I remembered I used to flip tanks with the warthog in Halo 1, and I had yet to try that in Halo 2. After attempting that on an enemy tank and just bouncing off, I decided my next course of action would be to run into one of the mines that are scattered around <laughs> containment and take two enemies with them. <laughs> when approaching the mine, I had a tinge or ting or regret that I would be ending my spree and attempted to bail at the last minute. I successfully got out, but the vehicle stopped short of the mine. As the gunner began to light me up, the tank I previously bumped came over a bridge and shot the warthog, killing his two teammates. I began laughing. La <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, my God. I began laughing loudly and bragging no scope. That <laughs> no, no look, more like. <laughs> that two-point deduction also proved to be the difference between winning by 36 or 38. Wow. That's Keep awesome. on with a great podcast. Andy Man, the worst level 22 ever. <laughs> All right, does anyone actually use spell check before they send anything in? Because it's available on, like, every webmail there is. Yeah, right. All you have to do is just go on Google and type spell check, and you should get a, a web-based spell check, and it's easy as that. Plus, you know, you can get it on Hotmail, Gmail. I can't even think of a mail while they don't have spell check. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, Caboose12 says, hey, Potacular. Skip Dark Tucker. Oh, Dark Tucker. What's up, guys? <laughs> I was playing a free-for-all death match with two of my friends the other night. It was pretty crazy. And headache, so we were shooting <laughs> one <laughs> another <laughs> when I loved the prank in my body. Stop, stop, stop. You just said headache. Hectic. The funny thing is, the guy spelled it right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, it was pretty crazy and hectic, so there we were go. shooting amongst one another when I lobbed the frag in my body and he shot it out of instinct at it and it blew up. I have never seen that happen before so I thought it was pretty cool. That's my tale of the foxhole. That is a pretty cool glitch. It's, it's a supposedly really good sniping trick to uh, train yourself by sniping grenades that fly up in the air. Yeah, I, I, I've tried doing that. It's wicked hard. It is. It really is. If you can do that, you can be like a level 30-some on Team Snipers and Pwn Modders. Yeah, if, really. If you can snipe like three grenades in a row, dude, you just like... You've got awesome. auto-aim. Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> awesome because I, I do one, and that's like one try like out of like 25. 15, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's wicked hard. If you can snipe three consecutively, you're a modder, you SOB. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, no. who's next? Alright. Caboose 12. Yes, I think. Am yeah, I? go ahead. Go okay. ahead, Fenna. Yeah, yeah. Caboose 12 says Hey, Podtacular, I have these pretty strange stories from the foxhole, so listen up. This one time at Xbox Camp. They have an Xbox Camp? Man, I need to go to this kid's town. <laughs> I was playing... I don't think they have an Xbox player. He just me like, he's got to be making it up, dude. I don't know. I think they might got... do it. It's like an MLG camp or something. Uh, You guys are both losers. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that right now. You, re you know the one time at band camp? Right, I know, but that's what I meant. I've like, never, we, I've never been to When band I posted camp. the show, I said, you know, I thought you through. guys were being serious. No, 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 no. We're just maybe, maybe there's an Xbox camp. No, in, no. In the, when uh, <laughs> when I posted, you know, like the send, your, send in your tips, whatever, for the Tales of the Foxhole, I said, you know, this one time at Halo Camp, so that's where he got it from. <laughs> oh, so. wow. <clears throat> so, anyway, back to his story. He says he was playing a Slayer match on Sanctuary. He had the sword, and he had just lunged this guy to death. Near the and then near the entrance, or uh, near the entrance to the middle of the map. Uh, uh, he might also add that the best that when I beat that when he beat down people or used the sword, he spaz out by jumping off his chair and to the right using the left shoulder to block something. The hell? What? <laughs> did I did I just read that wrong? Or? Yeah, no, I don't think you read it wrong. That's what it says. Dude. 
spaz out by jumping off my chair and to the right using my left shoulder to block something. <laughs> hmm. I guess he's, I guess like he in real life he literally like gets up <laughs> from his chair and like swings his left shoulder forward and like pretends his he's just I don't know, dodging something? I don't know. He Maybe he's... Like, I don't <laughs> Let, know. Let's not speculate so we don't get hate mail okay. from the poor kid we've <laughs> used. <laughs> All right. During this, though, I dro he dropped his controller right at the same time a guy dropped from the second level and into the middle of the sword spawn. The controller fell and landed on the R button, and he assassinated the oh, guy. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, jeez, that's lucky. LOL. Yeah, my other oscillating ladies. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is gonna come and just find us <laughs> night and kill us in our sleep. Little oscillating ladies. That's uh, mine. I was That's actually mine. I, yeah, I know. I was listening to that episode today and. Fubo was just cracking up when you said that, dude. He was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to think about that now every time I see LOL. <laughs> Living on love. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, we, we... Oh, God, we're abusing this kid. He's going he's gonna to file some harassment suit against us or something. Uh, his, other, <laughs> his other story was on Terminal. And uh, start out of a CTF game. And I'm going to read his hymn. We took the warthog and drove the normal bath. We had the flag. I, I think you we meant path, but yeah, you said uh, path. path. The normal path. <laughs> we, had the, we had the I guess flag him and, and his buddies <laughs> went to you know, bath together on a warthog or something. He's just making it Gross. easy. <laughs> he said bath. <laughs> and, we, and they were returning to base. Uh, his passenger said he was going to walk and the warthog would distract them. They were nearing the train track ramp. I guess this is on terminal. Oh, yeah, he did say it was on terminal. Uh -huh, I'm not paying attention. Uh, when he said we were nearing the train track ramp, when he said this, so I power slid sideways, passenger side facing the tracks, as the gunner shot the enemies coming. And then, and he also got out almost over the tracks just when the train came flying by, and the flag guy was run over. Oh man! <laughs> but we were also on the tracks, even though we were we got sent flying. The train glitched us through, and we survived. The gunner and I were laughing so hard, while the passenger wouldn't stop swearing at us. He quit, and our team won. Good work, Potacular. L O L, little oscillating ladies. <laughs> Woo! He actually wow. wrote that too. So that's yeah. Who who the heck? <laughs> Dial's Dial's been paying too much attention to Potacular. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend Brent Gamer says Brent I Gamer. joined the blue team. I'm Brent Gamer and I'm 11. <laughs> <laughs> he he says he's 15. He I says he just Brent what he, is Brent Gamer? <laughs> Brent Gamer says he wants to sound like his testicles. Mr. Dropped. Anderson, surprised to see me. I'm Brent Gamer. I'm surprised to see me too. <laughs> do do your best American accent. Try to sound like. Oh, I don't think I can do my best American accent in any way, other than trying to use a different uh, voice or trying to communicate in a different way. Well, I'm gonna read Brand Game as um, <laughs> Tale of the Foxhole in this. Uh, well, it's guys, I time. joined the blue team not knowing was I getting myself into. I was a young man who was ready to defend my flag, no matter what. <laughs> My platoon was, and I was sent to containment for only three days before the enemy arrived. <laughs> it was 4 days. p.m. on the fourth day You're doing when great. the combat started. <laughs> I grabbed my battle rifle and jumped into the passenger seat of one of my platoon warhawks. We drove across the terrain, and when we reached our destination, I jumped out and opened the gate to the enemy's base, and we drove in. The Goss cannon took out a lot of the enemy's ground troops. And I grabbed the flag and got it back in the hawk. We drove back to our base and were scarred the flag. Oh, wait. It was a big team battle slayer, and we lost 68 to 100. And it was on Coagu. Never mind. Does this guy smoke... <laughs> does Brent smoke pot before he writes his tips? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he, he just got really confused. It was a dream or something. Smoking that battle that crack. He was... <laughs> or he lost his delete key, and he didn't... 
<laughs> hey, man, keep on smoking that battle crack, Brent. <laughs> right. <laughs> keep on fragging the, the hashish. We're going to say that at the end. Keep on smoking the battle crack. <laughs> Jeez. Brent Gamer, everyone. All right. All right, that's cool, yes, Brent. It's yeah. all good. It's all good. Yeah. All right. Next we one love up. you, Brent. <laughs> we do. You're right. an invaluable part of the Potacular community. And without you, we'd have nothing interesting to read, so... <laughs> no, right, I don't mean and, that. And I, I don't mean that. And I couldn't tell you a story using my American voice or whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. <laughs> All right, uh, Lone, you're up. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, Twest. Is Twest new? Twest 87? Has he ever written a comment in before? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's fairly new on the website, too. I think he joined like a couple weeks ago or oh, so. Welcome to Podtacular, Twist. All right, Twist. Welcome. Welcome to Podtacular. Whenever, I, whenever like someone says, like, on, new, they're new on the forums, everyone's always like, welcome. It's like a cult. Everyone's like, welcome. <laughs> to our cult. Stay a while. And then that big, long list comes. <laughs> and everyone always, it, the vote for JR thing. Yeah, I know. Oh, With, like, all the links that you need. Yeah. In order to get around Pottacular when you first come in. And the the thing that annoys me about that post is that right in the middle of it, it says, keep on fragging trucks and it's like not a departing thing. It's like it's like part of their normal conversation. It's kind of <laughs> you know, like, no, it's, they're it's, abusing. It's a, it's a great post though because it does have like a lot of info that you need right there, and it's um. I mean, I've seen like five times in one welcome post before, but uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, it's still a great post for people that are that are new because it shows you how to you know like change your signatures or add you know like your avatar and a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah, so, the podcast the community is great. They yeah. help everyone out and everything else. Yeah, good job on that. So. That's right. why you joined Podtacular to be Woo! helped and babied, and then get Cuddled. your face shot in by Brent Gamer. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Twist, 87. This may be his first comment. I have no idea. If it is, everyone listen up. This is not a time to fast forward, like I know you're doing right now, because you just found out that I'm not JVP. Great pitch. Okay. <laughs> but I can pretend to be JVP. No, I can't. A few ah. nights ago, I was... Ah. Ah. Get to the ah. chopper. Ah. 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 Get to the chopper. Ah. Now. <laughs> Now, in order to be JVB, you got to do the Sean Connery, like, perfectly, because he's the only one that knows how to do it. Actually, oh, Sean in order Connery to be JVB, copies him, you know. Dial, dial. I'm going to send, uh, <laughs> I'm going to send you, uh, JVB's son saying, hi, nubs. You might want to edit, <laughs> it, it's like his five-year-old son, and he says, hi, nubs. <laughs> and you, uh, just edit this little <laughs> intro out, because I'm going <laughs> to send it to you. You got to have, um, Cyclonic put it in, it's so funny. <laughs> well, we'll talk okay. to Cyclonic about that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right, anyways, go ahead. To anyways. Um, Twist. 87. Does that mean he was born in 87? Uh, Does that mean he's maybe. like 18 years old? Let's, yeah, let's do one that. One of the older let's members. That. That's good. Welcome. <laughs> uh, wow. A few nights ago. Wait, what? Where am I? A few nights ago. I was I got lost and I had read three words. A few nights ago, I was playing CTF on Beaver Creek with a friend on double team, and we were tied two to two. Uh, we got their flag and took it through the teleporter and threw it on top of our base. Uh, they got up there and they were like, "It's on the glass. If they shoot it, it will fall down." So they shot it and we scored. Uh, we didn't know it was on the glass until they said that, and we probably would have lost because there, were very, there was very little time left. Another funny thing is, is like everyone, I, every time I play double team with him, one of us always has at least one suicide, and most of the time we don't even know we get it. That's all for now. <laughs> well, if you Congratulations, don't know, if Twist. you don't know that you're getting a suicide, then you probably uh, either playing Halo 2 too much or not playing it enough. So. <laughs> Because, I mean, if you don't know when you die from, you know, like a grenade or something, there's definitely something wrong there. So, uh, <sighs> all right, um, Phenom Gat, you're up. Okay, let me just, uh, Beasting says. Is that my Beasting or Beasting? We're going to go with Beasting unless he calls in and tells us otherwise. Okay. Myself, Cowball, <laughs> and Fart Mando. Fart Mando. He's one of the new okay. guys. He's he is asking just for no, no, no never mind I'm gonna continue and move the flaming to someone else, someone who has time. Uh, 
Yeah, they were playing on a team Chemo. swap. They were playing Excuse eight. <laughs> Chemo, okay. <laughs> Chemo and Painkiller, because they're on every post that anyone's ever made. <laughs> we were playing a team swap game at Zanzibar, and two people on their team quit. So when we were on offense, we got the we got their flag and hit it in the water. Cowboy contested it, and it just turned into a huge glitch game trying to find stuff. It was pretty easy, especially since we got the other team not to kill. I then took the contesting duty and proceeded to watch almost the entire home run derby until the game ended. Total game game time was over an hour, and it was definitely a first. <laughs> that's cool. That's. But I don't I, think I can play Halo 2 for an hour. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think I can get stuck in one game for an hour. <laughs> We just trying to find something <laughs> before right. before the uh, before the very first update back way way back when when I first got this was like a week after Halo Two had been released. Um, <laughs> we were playing on uh, Zanzibar, and um, this is the the kid did the super bounce right inside the base, the the most obvious super bounce in Halo Two, right inside the base where you go in the window there, and you get on top of the Zanzibar, and this was back when Assault had um, sun death. So if he was holding the ball, it would be sudden death. So the, the guy comes in, goes all the way up, and, like, stands on top of the base. And he his, the rest of his team left because they thought they had lost. But the kid on top of the base puts down his controller and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so me and my other friends are looking frantically, like, for this one guy. And we're like, don't leave the base, don't leave the base. And we're like, no, we have to leave the base. We have to find him. And we ended up just, like, going to bed ourselves. We went to bed. And the next morning, <laughs> I turn on the TV, and I'm still in the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. And then the, <laughs> the, 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 the other guys weren't there. And I ended up quitting because I didn't want to. But it, it, apparently, um, uh, like, after a while, the kid jumped down and said he had gone to bed. And yeah. my friends, like... Apparently, we're friends with Bungie, and they called Bungie, quote unquote. But that's what they told him. So. Wow, that's that's crazy, dude. Uh, Just to leave it there and go to bed. That's, <laughs> that's painful. That's, no, no doing that do with that. your 360, especially I, with yeah. the heating problems. Yeah. Oh, my 360 doesn't have any. Yeah, Mine you know, overheat. I got lucky. The 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 dashboard update for me, it was yeah. downloading. It was like, please stand by while your 360 while your 360 restarts. I was like, all right. So it turns off. And I'm sitting there looking at my Xbox 360 for five minutes, <laughs> waiting for it to turn back oh, on, man. and it never did. <laughs> oh, and you're nice. like, son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I have a fourth generation, I think, because I got mine like about three months ago or so. And, I got mine uh, like second but, gen. But I still, I still, you know, I still bought the uh, the extended warranty because I just want to be on the safe side. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't yeah. wanna... same here. Yeah, I don't want to. But I bought mine back when there was all those problems, like December twenty first. I think it was like a uh, a month to the day yeah. that it launched, and I just got so lucky because it hasn't had any problems yet, and I've like left it on the whole time we were recording. So yeah, yeah, I, I've probably left mine on uh, quite a while too, but it never had anything. But I just hate the fact that I have like this. My entertainment center has like this little glass door where you know the three sixty is. So every time I play, I leave that little glass door open, you know, just to avoid any heating problems or anything like that, because I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I just don't want anything to happen, <laughs> even though I'm sure it probably won't, you know, for being a 4th gen, but I still, you know, don't want to take my chances, so. Yeah, who does? 360 is too big an investment to take chances with. Exactly. I don't want to just, you know, have to send it back because, like, you know, the same problem that I was actually going to mention this to JVB, I have a problem, uh, I have a friend that had the same problem as he did. He sent his Xbox back and, dude, they just couldn't find his Xbox, like, for crap. Like, they, he would call and they were like, oh, we don't know where it is, blah, blah, blah. They just gave him, like, this, it was a hassle for him. It was really bad. Like, and they gave him, like, an extra game, you know, like JVB said, because of all the hassle. But he spent, like, over $200 worth of, like, phone bill 
uh, trying to like contact him all the time, seeing what's going on, and it was just like yeah. that. So he's like, dude, if I could find somebody that would give me the you know the same money that I you know that I paid for the 360, because he got it on release date. He's like, mm -hmm. if I could find somebody that would pay me the same price, you know th that. I paid for this, you know, for the console when I bought it. I would sell it in a heartbeat because what Microsoft made me go through it was just like crazy. But, but now he's like, you know, that's when he was like heated about it and everything. Now he he loves it, you know. He's well. Also, you can't just, send your hard drive in with it. Right, right. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. But, exactly. You know. Well, yeah. you, you, what happened to me was uh, the night that the the, the about dashboard update it happened the night we were playing Bungie, yeah. and oh. I almost had a heart attack. But thank, thank the Lord Almighty God in heaven that I had my old Xbox sitting in the closet. Oh, I, I used to call it old reliable until it crashed after my 360 crashed. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so I, I, was, I was without uh, any games for about a week there. Oh, that, man. That's smart. And then when I got the warrantied Xbox 360 back, my internet wasn't working for like the first <laughs> hour. I was like, <laughs> just one thing after another. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. well, well, good thing you had, you know, the other Xbox on the on the Bungie Mac. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I, yeah, that's can't like, stop praying to God, saying. I know. Thank you. I would have just like, I don't know, opened my window and like threw myself out the window or something because <laughs> I, I uh, was telling that's everybody. That's a little extreme. <laughs> I was like, dude, guess who I'm playing tonight? You know, like all of my friends and they're like, who? And I was like, we're playing Bungie and. And you're like, oh, let me play, let me play. I was like, no, 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 it's not like that. That's not how it works, you know. And they were just like, oh, I want to play. So um, I wish you guys luck on 360 Talks Roundtable. It it was it was awesome, dude. So <laughs> I felt but, like uh, saying that. All right. Anyways, let me. Uh, we gotta step it up a little bit because uh, yeah, we're going just, to uh, almost. It's all my fault. Here, so. Um, all right, Art says a friend and I were doing super bounces on headlong. Boo! And, uh, we went Ew. in. We went in. Ew! <laughs> gross. Smelly. He's just like picking on me today. That's what is your gross. problem? No, I was saying boo to the to the to the super bouncer. Oh, you're saying okay, ew. Okay. You were saying poo. Poo. I was saying gross. Gross. Oh. Well, then I was we were saying, saying gross. ew, and I was like, "Why are you saying gross?" Oh well, might as well step it up a notch. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so then uh, we were doing super bounce on headlong, and we went in, and it was half. Okay, a friend and I were doing super bounce on headlong, and he went in, and was halfway in the ground, not like funny in. Okay, I just don't know what this guy's saying. Uh, falling into a garden spin, whatever. Okay, I guess what he's saying, he was doing super bounce, his, and then his like corpse fell halfway. Yeah, into like the his corpse ha fell like halfway into the ground, and he was still able to walk. I guess like his legs were like inside of the ground, <laughs> and his torso was like outside, and he was still able to walk. And then he went to try it again, and then all of a sudden he died. But his guy was just like <laughs> still just standing there. He was like killed by the guards, but his guy was just like standing there, like he was still alive, and his shields were like full or whatever. So it was some weird glitch or something, but that's uh, I'd love to be yeah, able to I, do yeah, that. Yeah, I'd again. love to see that. You know, that must have been one funny thing. You could have staked that dead corpse. <laughs> <laughs> For like, all everyone complains about super bouncing, I mean, everybody does it. I mean, we all know it's cheap, and the majority of us try not to do it in ranked games. But right. I don't think there's a person who's played Halo Two who hasn't super jumped no, it, at I, least I don't, once. I don't do it on matchmaking or anything, but. You know, I I actually I hate super bounce, but like when we're playing, uh, you know, like a custom game, if it's like something funny to do, like yeah, one day we were pl playing a custom game and then we were just like joking around, people were like sticking, you know, own teammates, or yeah. so it was warlock, and then I super bounced on top of the map, it was like SWAT, and and then uh, every time they would spawn, they would die right away because I was like killing them. And I got like an untouchable or something from right up there, and they were like, "Where the hell is Dial?" <laughs> and then Rist was just like, "Oh my god!" We were like cracking but up, like, dude. Yeah, but when it's like a serious game, like nah, you're trying, yeah, no, yeah like you're trying to have fun, like Rumble Rockets or something on Warlock. 
and people, I'm not going to mention any names here, ooh, a sniper, bounce up to the top of the map and just, like, own everybody as soon as they spawn. Right, yeah, then it's cheap. Like like I said, I hate Super Bounce, and, and I can't, you know, I can't say it because I've lost so many games on matchmaking yeah. because of Super Bouncers, but... That was the first head-to-head -head game I ever played. Someone bounced up to the very top of the tower and just owned me the entire yeah, game. Same thing here, you know, like, Warlock and uh, Ascension is, is just, like, oh... It kills oh, so me. cheap. It is wicked cheap. I hope they can get rid of it in Halo 3. Oh, they, I'm sure Bungie has something, you know, that will line up because yeah, yeah. yeah. They they oh, well. they're going to be pretty, you know, like busy doing all those glitches and, you know, super bouncing and all that stuff. You know, pulling flight through the wall when we used mm. to be able to do that, scoring from the bottom, which is, you can still do that. So I'm probably going to be the only one who doesn't have any trouble adjusting because I don't glitch that much. Yeah, me neither. I, I don't do anything. I, other, other than, like, weapon glitch, which is, you know, I don't. a lot of people still go like, oh, it's cheating. A lot of people say it's Maybe not, an occasional but, um, double shot, but that's it. Right. And I barely know how to do it, so it's like... So the the only reason I, I I don't like that stuff real quick is just I, I'm like totally like I have this whole like honor system in my head like what's acceptable to do and what's not like I I, yeah. I know it's 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 fine to do in a regular game but like I'm kind I'm the kind of guy that like gets pissed off if someone shoots you from behind like if if you want to categorize me as either a ninja or a samurai I'm more of a samurai because if I'm not looking at you and you shoot me then I, I get mad and call you, like, names and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Die! No! <laughs> I'm a survivor. Then I go ahead and shoot people from behind. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I'm a survivor. If you're there, I'm going to try and kill you. You'll probably end up killing me first, but that's okay. Because it's a game. <laughs> exactly. It's just a game after all. But yeah. Anyways. yeah all but... right, uh, you're up, Lone. Okay. Um, Red Channel... Red Channel says, My first triple kill. Hey, Podtacular, this is how I score my first triple kill. I was playing Team Solar in matchmaking, and the game was in lockout. At the start of the game, I spawned in the room right below the BR tower. I took about three steps outside, and I saw three of the guys in the blue team all rush for the sniper. How cute of them, I thought. So I shot the exploding canisters, and they all blew away in separate directions, followed by a cloud of, Yes! coming from right out of the announcer Allowed. guy. A loud yes coming from... <laughs> me right after the announcer said triple kill triple kill that's awesome <laughs> I, that is that's that's really cool. i love doing that dude there's I nothing know. better than playing against noobs that have will literally no clue what three doing. of them will walk up to sniper three and try to grab the sniper rifle instead of just one guy and you just shoot those bears and explode them all it, it's and just take them all with it yeah it's, yeah. it's but like my it's priceless <laughs> yeah, um my friends, though, they're, like, like the ones that don't have live, they're all, like, hardcore with each other. And they, like, every time I get, like, a double or a triple, they, they like, look at me and they say, don't say anything. <laughs> they get so mad whenever I say double or something. And it's just, like, I'll be, like, sitting there and I'll get a double kill and I'll just be really lucky and I'll be, like, double. And I'll be, like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I, I still say it, but shut I don't, up, I don't press the white noob. button. <laughs> <laughs> I still say it, but I won't press the white button because everyone always gets mad. So I just announce it, and if you're there, then it's your fault. <laughs> just announce it. <laughs> it's, not, it's our fault or our pleasure? It's more, it's more to shove it in the people I just killed face. <laughs> <laughs> it's our fault or our pleasure? <laughs> All right, uh, Finn, get read one yeah. more, and then I'll right. wrap this puppy up. So Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah that sounds good. Okay, Crimson Rice. Says, uh, once upon a time, I have to check something real quick. Alright. Once upon a time, in a happy land of Ivory Tower, a week and a half ago, Vice and I were betraying each other and just acting retarded and messing around when we spotted a mutant demonic chipmunk on its merry little way towards Fumo's house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we waved and said hello and asked it were and asked it where it was coming from and how it was like being infested by the flood virus. He said that he was kicked out of backwash and it feels good, yet sometimes feels lonely and that why he was going to Fumo's house cut and also because he's never seen 
an alligator before. <laughs> what the hell? Is this guy with Brent Gamer? Like, are they, are they in the same room here? <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> and guys, That'll guys, crack. Get Get is not having trouble reading this. This is it's written like this. Like, yeah, he's right. doing his best to. I know actually... it, it's it's hard to <laughs> decipher this right here. <laughs> okay. After we found out the chipmunk Frizz was his name, that he would find that he would make an appearance in Halo Three. Frizz, the flood mutated chipmunk, makes an appearance in Halo Three. Okay then, <laughs> uh, fighting all grunts and helping the Master Chief. Later in that game, the other team quit and we ended up winning with negative twelve. The entire story is true. You can even ask Vice. Oh, Vice yourself. Frizz asks you, Fumo, that you please let him into your home to live with you or because he, he has no family of his own. Too bad Fumo's not here. Yeah, I Sorry, know. Frizz. So, so guess what, Frizz? You out of luck, buddy. <laughs> you gotta I go back to the Yeah, something. you're gonna have to wheel your merry little way over to Saskatchewan or whatever the heck. I'll attach Fumo batteries is. to your to, um, ears and then we'll unmutate you. Albuquer Albuquerque. <laughs> we'll unmutate you with batteries. <laughs> I can do that because I mod. Oh, awesome. I, I can mod you unmutated. Oh, crap. I lost my batteries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, wrap yeah. this up. Um, oh, in. just quick. We, uh, the other the other, uh, sh the other comments were uh, made by Terminator Llama, Purple Deviant, Purple 666, Demon and, Wickedness, and Wickedness. Just to, yes. if You guys can read them, but we don't have a lot of time left. So. Yeah, we're actually yeah. running out of it's, time. It's so. all my fault. It's all my fault. <laughs> no, it's a, all right, guys, yeah. just uh, wrapping this up. Tune in next week for the update show where we talk about the latest stuff going on in Halo 2 and Halo 3 and what's going on in Particular, Bungie, and the Halo universe. Ponage. Send in your tips, etc., custom games, all that junk, to Particular at gmail.com. Uh, Particular depends on your submissions to keep the show going. And we ask for new stuff for these shows every week, so check it out at podtagular.com. Uh, we have some rockin' forums there, too, made by... Uh, Captain, Captain Crunk. Captain Crunk, yeah. I forgot his name. I'm so pathetic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. But really, also... <laughs> if, if, if you're just casually listening here, we, um, we're getting a lot of presence in the forums, and the, the community is growing every, every single day. Yes, we get at least growing new... every day. And it's amazing to be part of it. Yep. Just yep. have a it lot of really fun. Is. Great group of people. Everybody's friends over there. It's 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 nice. Yeah, you meet a lot of good friends, a lot of good people. And Potagular cool games. Yeah, I guarantee you Potagular will be one of the best online communities you will ever join. Ever. Right on. If not the best, yeah. All right. Uh call our listener voicemail at 206-888-HALO. Just make your um calls um like so we can understand them. And uh, um, keep him under three minutes. Yeah, and no more impersonations of the grave mind. That was just, <laughs> you know, not even going to ask what I missed. Because <laughs> I'm missing something here. I don't think I want to know now. I forget who it was, but <sighs> it was on. It was on the show I was on. But <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> also, uh, make sure you guys vote for us at the podcastawards.com. Just Woo! go over there, yeah, and vote. It's real easy. It's really easy. It's very easy. Go there, and all you have to do is just plug in, you know, the URL and the name of the community. It's just as easy as that. So, uh, vote also, for Potacular. Yeah. Also, check out uh, Phantom Get and uh, now Moki Boys and Darth Balls Forty Five Podcast Three Sixty Talk, the unofficial Xbox Three Sixty Podcast. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Check us out at 360talk.blogspot.com. We have some forums, which they're not as good as Potacular, but they're still pretty cool. Some <laughs> user bars over there, and, you know, give us a listen. Who knows? Might find a new podcast. Cool, cool, awesome. Great podcast, guys. Check it out. So, um... Not really. Don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, any, any publicity is good publicity, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, well. uh, I think Richard Nixon could disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Nixon. Okay. Yeah, Sorry, I know him. Richard. Everybody right, knows Richard. him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shout outs.
2, uh, Cowbell, Overlord of Rec B, Renegade. Okay, Renegade. Overlord of Pro A. New Overlord by my side, Renegade. He swarmed the polls. He almost, he, he basically got almost all, all the votes for the new Overlord, so... Congratulations, Renegade. Yeah, you have Go deserved Renegade. it through your endless dedication. And so everyone, send your love mail to Renegade ASAP. Nice. Maybe shout-outs to Renegade. Risp, <laughs> yeah, also shout, normal shout-outs to Risp Pebo and S Detective for organizing the Rec A versus the Rec D match. And uh, XXI, XII, ha- Havoc, XIIX, who is a new member also. Awesome. A lot of new members, but there yeah. you go. And also, uh, to uh, JB and Fumo, stay safe and yeah, we can't Fumo, wait to have you guys back. Have a mm-hmm. safe trip back, and uh, JVB, come back. Our prayers are with you. That's right, man. Uh, we'll thanks see you soon, to guys. Cyclonic for editing the audio. Woo, Cyclonic! Yeah, great job, Cyclonic. Faithful member of the Tripod Pros. We <laughs> the season right there. <laughs> Can you say longest outro ever? Let's <laughs> end it! <laughs> awesome. Alright, guys, and uh, until next time, I'm Dial Pex. I am Lone Banana Phone. And I'm Phantom Jets. Peace out, everyone. Yeah, keep on uh, fragging them noobs. See, Smoking every that time, battle crack. Every <laughs> time <laughs> this the show ends, there's always that little tune in the background. And I always try to hold on for as long as I can. I always try to hold on. But someday, I'm going to keep talking, and Cyclonic is just going to like turn up the music right over. <laughs> but I'm going to be still be talking, and this music is going to be louder and louder and louder. And it's probably doing it right now, just because Cyclonic has a good sense of humor. <laughs> but hey, no one's probably listening right now, Cyclonic is probably already getting this all out. Com is the XBL Radio Show. Hi guys. Nice to be here. Hey, this is Pitcher. Thank you for having me. Today we have Mr. Carpal Tunnel. This is the other guy coming to you live and strong. Tech news. If you have a Sony PlayStation, the brick is extremely large. I mean, it, it, I, it's smaller than a laptop. I've got a breakdown on everything you need to know before you jump into the 360 arena. They have been using computers for therapy with uh, Alzheimer patients. Arcade games Guaranteed. are selling for 5 to $15. Yeah. I don't think I'll play this game. Game reviews. All right, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Doom. We're going to review go. Fight Night Round 3. That's right, it's King Kong. I know Maga Man's been uh, really into this game. Yeah, for the majority of people out there like that. Yeah. Yeah. Out of 10, it's, it's pretty hard. To me, I wouldn't suggest buying it. Interviews from the gaming community. How's it going, K-Rock? Oh, it's going great. Major Nelson, a.k.a. Larry Herb. You guys really have made my success. Welcome, Gamer Andy. Hi. Nice to be here. Hi, this is Luke from the Game Act Top Mind Podcast. I'm the Rebel. Welcome to extra 6 leaguescom And Live.5. This is Live on Live, the Gamers Roundtable discussion. I've been gaming for a long, long while. We need to move on. Anyways, we got a great show for you. we got four wonderful Xbox Live gaming guests here. Live on Xbox Live. This is XBL Radio. Your day, your voice, your radio.